Welcome to Past Industria channel. Press the red button below to subscribe to keep up with the latest trends in the tech industry. Today we will talk about artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let's get straight to the point. The world of tech can be confusing, especially for non-geeks. I'm sure you hear a lot about artificial networks, machine learning and neural networks in all types of media. These terms have turned into buzzwords, but what do they really mean? How is machine learning different from deep learning? Can you tell the difference? No worries, we're about to figure this out in this video. So when people mention artificial intelligence, they refer to an umbrella term for any technique that enables computers to copy human intelligence. Meanwhile, machine learning is a subset of AI and deep learning is a subset of ML. This is how these terms are related one to another. Now let's get into the tale of each of them. What's the definition of artificial intelligence or AI? It's a branch of computer science that uses rule-based approaches, relying on logic, decision trees, even rules, and machine learning to enable computers to mimic human intelligence. Speech recognition, natural language processing, and computer vision are some of the applications of AI that we either already actively use in our everyday lives or will be using soon. The development of strong AI that can match humans on any cognitive task has been a topic of debate in the beneficial AI movement and among tech skeptics for a while. But that's a different story. Let's get back to machine learning. This subset of AI enables machines to learn from the received data. The underlying principle here is what software engineers call fit-predict paradigm. First, we feed or train a machine learning model to predict outcomes on the received data to optimize certain goals. Then, the trained model makes predictions on the piece of data that it hasn't seen before, labeling an MRI or X-ray image as cancerous with an accuracy that can be on par with clinicians, using Siri on your iPhone, Google Translate, and even a chatbot on a messaging app with your bank are some of the real-life applications of machine learning. There are two broad types of machine learning supervised and unsupervised. The first one relies on labeled data to train an algorithm. As a result, it learns to detect patterns in the data to predict the outcome. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Sounds confusing, isn't it? Let's take a look at an example. Let's say we want to train a computer to recognize cats in images. Basically, a computer is shown thousands of images to learn to distinguish those labeled as cats from the rest taking into account various characteristics like size, color, and so on. However, a computer doesn't perceive these characteristics the way we humans do. For a machine, an image is just a number of pixels from where it learns patterns. In unsupervised learning, a machine uses unlabeled data and clusters it to detect patterns. Going back to our previous example, this means that it received unlabeled images of cats, dogs, birds, and other animals or objects and clusters them to distinguish specifically cats. Wrapping up with the pets, let's move on to deep learning. How is it different from machine learning? While machine learning uses classical algorithms like linear regression or support vector machines to analyze data, learn from it, and make informed decisions on this ground, deep learning uses deep artificial neural networks. They are multiple artificial neurons stacked into layers and connected between each other in a way reminiscent of biological neural connections in the neocortex. Self-driving cars, social media algorithms that recommend you post that pop up in your news feed, a face recognition technique that you use to unlock your smartphone are all examples of deep learning in practice. I really hope that this video helped you to get a clearer picture of how AI, machine learning and deep learning are linked to each other. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to learn more about disruptive technologies. See you in our next video.